Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Got another tutorial for you today. And this is on the Mad Max Fury Road Solomon Stitch bracelet. So I know this is uh, just another Solomon Stitch video. And uh, you know, before you guys get bored, hear me out. So uh, if you haven't noticed already in the movie uh, Mad Max Fury Road, or if you haven't seen it yet, uh, Tom Hardy's character, you know, Mad uh, Max, he's actually wearing a paracord bracelet in that movie. And what's special about his Cobra Stitch is that it's adjustable. So now I have done an adjustable uh, Cobra Stitch bracelet in the past, and that's uh, this one here. You know, it's, uh, it's a bit different, you know, you can pull on both sides, and you've got these two strands that uh, close it up. However, the difference about the one in Mad Max is that it's got only one, you know, set of strands that you pull on, right, like this. So it actually is quite simple. I'm sure even if you just look at this bracelet long enough, you can figure it out. But I wanted to do a tutorial on this either way because it's really cool. And uh, it is in the movie Mad Max, which is a really awesome movie and features one of my favorite actors, Tom Hardy. So that being said, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so I've got my paracord ready here. I've got about 10 feet of paracord and my bracelet size is about seven inches, maybe a bit less in terms of uh, circumference. So I'm gonna start off with uh, finding the middle. Oh, and uh, the color I'm using is gold. Uh, it actually looks more like khaki or tan. Um, I'm sticking with the theme of Mad Max and the one that Tom Hardy wears. Okay, so I've got my paracord doubled up like this on one end. And I've got the other two ends here like this, right? And I've got all the excess paracord down here. So what you're going to do first is just starting from this end. You're going to take your ruler and this is where you determine your length. So this doesn't have to be too precise because it is uh, an adjustable bracelet. So my seven inches is about there and you can leave just like a big, maybe an inch or so of the loop here, but that's, you can adjust that later. Okay, so I'm gonna do about that much. About seven and a half, I'm gonna adjust it later though. Okay, so I'm just gonna mark that with my thumb like this. So this is where we start. So we have our loop down here. And we've got the rough amount of our bracelet measured here. I'm just gonna move my paracord to the top up here. So now starting from here, we're just gonna start our uh, Solomon stitch. So I'm gonna start with the right cord and we're gonna lay that across here. Bring that to the other side. And then we have a cord on the left, and for the usual Solomon stitch, right, we're going to go over top that, and then we're going to go through to the other side, through this loop here. Okay, so this is basically what we have. Okay, so now from here, we're not going to pull it down tight all the way because um, we can't really do that just yet. So now we're going to continue with our next knot or yeah, next Solomon stitch. So because this is uh, this is lead cord, we're gonna go across like this, and we're just gonna do a second Solomon stitch. I'm gonna pull that through there, and then we're gonna pull this tight. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have our first two knots. So we got the two loops here. We're gonna use those later on. And uh, you can adjust these and make them a little smaller. And actually when I pull down on this, this is actually gonna add some length to the loop part here. So actually you might wanna go a little bit shorter, but you can just play with this and uh, ensure that you get the right length. Okay, so. So now from here, it's very simple. We're just gonna continue our Solomon stitch going down our spine. Okay, so yeah, uh, just one more time to show you. Uh, lead cord over the core. Uh, secondary cord over that through the loop the other side and that's it okay so I know all of you are probably experts at the Solomon stitch by now so I'm not to keep you on for this I'm just gonna continue weaving all the way down my core and then we'll show you how to finish it off before you go too far in terms of weaving the main part of the bracelet I almost forgot to mention uh, before you go too far down the middle you, want, you see these two loops up top? 
You want to pull them pretty much almost shut. Uh, don't pull them like way too tight or too like all the way shut. You just want to leave a bit of space because um, these are the kind of holes that will be feeding the other loops of paracord through. You don't want to leave them open because um, by the time you get all the way down to the end, you try to close these up, uh, it will be too hard and uh, you might pull them all the way shut. So just uh, leave a bit of space like I did and we're going to be using our hemostats to feed our cords through after, okay? Alright, so I'm almost done weaving. Moving all the way down my spine. That's where the top looks like now. So now we're going to go all the way to the very end of this loop and we're actually just going to do one more. So this loop at the very end is quite small. And uh, I think that's about big enough. So as you can see, this is where we are now. So now what we're going to do is take our you know, weaving strands and we're going to feed them through this loop. I like to do this, this one on the right, see how it's coming out the back? I'm going to put that one from behind and through, like this. And then see how this one's coming toward the front? I'm going to put that through the fr uh, front of the loop, like this. Like that. Okay, so that was quite easy. Just brought uh, both strands through, see how they kind of crisscross through, like that. And now we're going to take these ends and feed them through the top loops up here. So we're going to take our bracelet, we're going to bend it around, and we're essentially just going to feed these two strands, you know, one each through each of these loops. Okay, so I'm going to correspond them with uh, whichever side they're on. So this is where the hemostats come in handy. So let's do that now. I'm going to take this strand, feed it through here. Like that. The next one, same thing. I kind of widened my loops just a little bit because they were kind of tough to uh, get through. Work this strand through. It might be easier without the, uh, the stats. Uh, there we go. So, as you can see, I was able to do that without the hemostats. Alright, so as you can see, now this forms the adjustable part of our bracelet, like that. So, now from here, uh, it's really simple. We have our two strands, and I actually have quite a bit of excess. So uh, if your wrist is about my size, um, you know, about seven inches or so, uh, you can maybe use a bit less starting off. But this is just going to make tying our stopper knot easier. Uh, or you can just do like uh, in the movie. He just has uh, Tom Hardy just has a simple um, you know overhand knot tied. But I'm going to do a diamond knot just because you know it looks a bit nicer. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and tie that, and I will annotate my you know standard uh, tutorial for the diamond knot. The links below. Okay, we've got our loop over, under, over, like that. Strand through the bottom. Again, I know I'm going really fast, but I have a dedicated tutorial for this diamond knot. Okay, so as you can see, my diamond knot is just about formed. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm just going to tighten up this diamond knot. I'm just going to move it to maybe about here. Because we're, again, this is adjustable. So you can determine how much slack you want or how much you want this to expand. And then you can you know, place your knot there. Okay, so I'm just going to do that and I'll be finished. All right, so as you can see, I've adjusted the final placement of my diamond knot. I had to play around with it a bit because uh, you do have to take into account you know, the size of the wrist that it's going on to because uh, it has to be big enough so that I can slip this you know, over my wrist like that and then I can pull it shut, right? So there, there is a kind of minimum amount of slack you'll have to leave. Okay, so now that I've done that, this is I guess about two inches or so. Uh, you'll just have to play with it and, you know, figure out your own preference. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to take this off my wrist. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to trim off my excess paracord, snip and singe the ends, and then we'll be done. All right, and there we have it, guys. I'm done. 
So I snipped and singed off the ends of my paracord here on the diamond knot. Yep, that's nice and finished. And I've got my bracelet sized to where I want. And it fits really nicely. Alright, so I hope I've explained everything clearly and concisely. And uh, you know, if, I, if you guys have any questions or difficulties, please do leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, all related tutorials and videos will be linked uh, in the description and or at the end of the video as usual. So uh, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next tutorial video.